Welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, my name is Sylvia and I make videos on planning with the occasional review. Today's video is going to be my setup for October 2021 and my setup for the last quarter of the year, quarter four. Okay, so I actually have three planners that I'm gonna try <laughs> to finish out 2021 in. We'll see how it goes. So I have two Hobonichis and a traveler's notebook. Let's start with the Hobonichis first. Um, these little strings, I try so hard with them. Why won't you let me be your friend? Anyway, this is basically my wallet as well as my personal planner. So I keep this in my purse. I'm not going to be using a Hobonichi at all this year, which um, I'm perfectly fine with, but I like having a wallet um, <laughs> planner just because when I'm on the go at a volleyball game, I'm sitting there with family and friends. They ask me about a date. I can pull this out and see right away. Um, and I don't mind carrying this with me. I had A5 planners, two Hobonichi ones, one cousin, and then the Dave's free and A5 size this year. And it was just too much for me to carry around. I just didn't want to do it. So this is a Moeterm cover and it has that like pebbling, that black pebbling that we like. Kind of reminds me of my Finsbury. This is my wallet, so I'm gonna try to hide this front part, just my cards, cash, and what have you. So this is the Arrival cover. I loved it. I loved using this, but I didn't use it very often, and it was mostly, again, um, as a reference to dates, as well as like personal things, which I could fit my personal stuff in my regular planner, but <laughs> since I had this, that's how I used it. So let me find the monthly. I was using these little things to mark my monthly, but I always forget to put them back in. It's just the worst. I don't know why I don't mark them, but I don't. Anyway, so here we are in October. Currently, it is the end of September, so I haven't started planning anything in here yet. Um, I don't put anything other than these stickers that I ended up getting from, I want to say Hobby Lobby. I can't really remember, um, but I don't put any stickers around here just because I like to utilize all of the space and there's not very much in the tiny Hobonichi. <laughs> and then we have the weekly. So I went ahead and I put a little ephemera here because like I mentioned, I'm only writing down some personal things. So if I'm having any kind of back pain, um, you know, health issues, what have you all go here when I dye my hair so I know how long it's been since the last time, uh, last time I cut my hair, stuff like that. And that's basically all the decorating I really do in here. No one really sees this planner. I mean, I have to look at it, but um, not that interesting. I don't really forward plan anything in here at all. I used to use this as a reading journal. It got too small. And I keep that in an A5 bullet journal, my 1917. And that's basically everything that's in here. My second planner is my Hobonichi Cousin in A5 size. This is the whole year, all in one place. I'm never gonna do this again. <laughs> it was too big to pair with anything else and it just drove me insane. So um, I didn't like carrying this, not even room to room. It just kind of sat at my desk. And if I wasn't at my desk, then I didn't plan in here. I basically started using this as a reference notebook after like the first month. So when I was doing Duolingo, I basically every day would write down um, how long I used Duolingo for the day, usually about an hour. And I sat down and I kind of rewrote what I learned so that I could help with spelling and stuff like that. And that's basically um, what I do now. I use this as a reference notebook. So in here I put a Target dollar spot pocket. I have so many of these, you guys. And I haven't bought any in years. Somebody, a friend gifted me these. I didn't use them at the time because I already had set up for fall, but that's why you should always keep a like sticker folder <laughs> for the seasons. That way you know where it is and you can go back to them and use them uh, for the next year. So I started using these for this year in my planner setup. These are Hobonichi stickers to mark specific dates. I figured if I put them here, I probably would use them. I have a bunch. I haven't bought these in years either, but I still have a lot left. This is a plastic a piece of plastic for washi tape. I thought I would set up some washi tape to put on here, but since it's not October, I haven't done that yet. <laughs> I'm still trying to recover from September and beta reading and all that jazz. So let's go to focus. So the focus for the month here is my spread. And again, I was using these stickers. That is, if it can focus, 
And they're really cute, they're easy. I love a good sticker. You just slap it down and that's all you need to do. These are Hobonichi stickers I've had forever. I took out and I placed them in certain places. This is for um, America's Thanksgiving and America's Christmas. America's Christmas, like, <laughs> that was funny. Anyway, um, yeah, I put those down because I don't celebrate all either of these holidays, but I, we do have like a dinner just because it is the holidays and there are people in my family that do celebrate those holidays. This is last month. I basically was keeping track of my beta reading and um, what I was doing. So I'm going to be doing that here since um, I'm going to get all of my beta reading uh, information and notes back here. I'm going to go through all of those notes and I'm going to start kind of rewriting and adding more beautiful language and flow throughout um, the manuscript. It's also Preptober, so I am going to be uh, outlining Project Violet Part 2. Back here in the monthly, the light is coming in and now it's looking crazy. Hopefully you can see this. Here's the monthly, and again, these daily pages I just use for like educational notes. So in August, in preparation for beta readers in September, I um, had to learn how to format my manuscript so that I could send it out to beta readers and it wouldn't look crazy, it looked professional. <laughs> and so I wrote all those notes out like on one or two days that I um, got that information down and figured out a formatting that worked for me. And so yeah, that's basically what I'm using this for. It just sits at my desk. And my last planner is my traveler's notebook. I haven't been able to skin this all year, but I'm gonna finish strong, y'all. So this is the Traveler's Company uh, traveler's notebook in black, and I love this. This is my favorite color. It gives me all of the creepy deepy fills, you know, of fall and, you know, October coming up with Halloween. I love it. I love to use a traveler's notebook for projects. <laughs> it's my favorite thing. I just think I think better in a traveler's notebook when it comes to stuff like this. All right, so in the front here I have, what is this called? This is a pocket from I think Office Depot and they're just for, uh, I don't know. I don't know what they're, business cards possibly. And I, it sticks really well onto this leather. So you can buy a bunch more than you actually can the uh, actual Traveler's Company brand. So that's why I have that in here. This is a Traveler's Company zippy pouch. They do have like the faux ones, but I prefer to use their brand because I think they last a little bit longer. In the long pocket, I just have some ephemera and of course, page flags for my writerly journal. Since we're coming up on Preptober and NaNoWriMo, these are super helpful to use. Um, these are part of, I don't know if I mentioned, the sticker kit you can buy from Traveler's Company for each year they put out one. And the tabs look like this. So these are Traveler's Company tabs up there. And down here on the side, I have planner press tabs. These ones as well. So that's what's on there. So I had some of these extra ones that I thought I would use um, to mark up some pages in my planner for the rest of the quarter. So we have uh, travel, memo, list, important information. You'll see that this says small. That means that these are supposed to fit um, better in the, what's it called? Passport size. And these larger ones are the same thing uh, are for like the standard regular, which is what this one is in case I didn't mention that. So I have them in here so I wouldn't forget to use them because I do. <laughs> this is just another piece of ephemera. And then I have two inserts in here. One, two. One of them is by Traveler's Company and it's the lined insert. And then this is a dot grid insert by Peanuts Planner Co. And this is like the old Tomoe River paper. I've had this for a couple years. I haven't used it yet. And I think there's 160 pages in here. This is the 52 GSM. So I've gone ahead and used um, a couple of my label makers here. <laughs> I like the, the contrast especially since this one pops up and this one doesn't. I love it. So we have Preptober and NaNoWriMo coming up, like I mentioned, for quarter four. And this is Pete, Pete the Penguin. He is my writing companion. I love him. <laughs> so on the inside here, I have my inbox to begin with. So as soon as I open this, this is where I write things. And then I figure out where they go and I put them there later. 
So these are by uh, Perfectionism Prints. I've talked about these before. There's like a set of six of them for the getting things done. And then I have one, two, three other longer uh, post-its. And these are in boxes for different things. And I have categorized them by color. This is just a piece of vellum that I've taped in. You guys have seen this before. I'm almost done. I'm sad. I'm probably not going to use this little butterfly for next year. But I love this butterfly. I'm going to miss it. So <laughs> this is just like my cover page for October. Because I'm not going to get it together to figure out how to draw stuff. I'm just not that kind of cool. Then I have a couple of pages here before my quarterly <laughs> calendar starts. So at some point in a video, I'm sure I talked about how I like to print out um, like a year at a glance. And then I use these little, uh, what are they called, page flags. I use my Dymal Label Maker and I print out on clear paper. I stick them on the page flags. They don't fit on here exactly. I just trim around with my scissors. And if the words are longer, then it's gonna be a longer piece of like plastic label. So I just, I just cut them down to size. Anyway, I like to plan like this. So I took that sheet I printed out at the beginning of the year and I cut it down to the last quarter, the fourth quarter of the year. October, November, and December. And I kind of just plan out what I'm supposed to be doing. So October is Preptober. For those of you who don't know, it's prepping for NaNoWriMo. Um, and that's when we outline our novel. And then in November, we have NaNoWriMo. That is a challenge, a writing challenge, where we write 1,667 words every single day for a total of a little over 50,000 words, which is the um, average novel. I'm going to be writing Project Violet 2 in November, so I have that already set up and ready to go. And in December, I'm going to be revising Project Violet 2 and then hopefully sending it out to beta readers by the end of December. That is the plan. We will see how that goes. <laughs> and then down here, I just have some extra ones. Oops, I'm sorry, I'm shaking you. I have some extra page flags down here for other things like seasonal things like Camp Nano that happens in April, July more revising because sometimes I revise more than once in a quarter. And then whenever I get a chance to work on my short stories, um, I put that in there as well. And this of course is my Dymo label maker. And this is just some random, it's not random, but I don't know where I got this stencil. It's kind of cute, I like it. And then in the back, I just have quarter four so that I can break these down further if I need to plan them out more. They have a lot more steps. I can just do that here. And again, it's not October yet, so I haven't <laughs> set up any of that. This is so cool. This is a planner sticker that I purchased um, for my iPad Air. And what I like about it is um, all of the planner stickers that you buy that are digital, you can print out and make them physical planner stickers. So that is awesome. And if you're interested in that, I will make a video eventually <laughs> coming up when I find the time talking to you about it, but I'll mention it now. If you're not willing to pay for an iPad of any kind because you just don't want to do that, you can buy a tablet. Um, they range in size. I think they start at about 50 bucks, 60 bucks to a hundred or a little over. And the tablets, they plug into your laptop or your desktop and it's what illustrators use. So you can actually use those to do digital planning if you don't wanna do an iPad. So you might look into that. Anyway, this is October. <laughs> this is where I'm gonna have my brain dump once I do that and start you know, breaking down all of the things that I wanna do in October of 2021. I can't believe we're in the last quarter, you guys. This page I accidentally bent up. Gosh, look at how. <laughs> With Tomoe River paper, you can really tell um, when you scrunch things up. Anyway, this is my October spending. I'm gonna put all of the spending I do in October over here. Then off to the left, I'm going to make any notes um, about this in case like, sometimes I have notes about why I bought something or if I wanna buy this again or when I need to purchase it for the next time, stuff like that. Then we have September, 2021. This is my monthly, so I've got it in bullet journal style. Over here, I have scary movies and TV shows that I'm gonna watch because every year I tend to watch a scary movie every single day but I want to incorporate scary shows as well because I'm really falling off. I want to watch season 10 of American Horror Story. I haven't done that yet. Um, what's it called? I went to school or high school rather in the 90s. So I'm really excited about 
I Know What You Did Last Summer, the TV series, because those were very popular when I was a teenager. Um, so I just kind of want to do that all here. More like for memory keeping than anything else. Over here, I want to keep track of my writing, like um, what chapters I'm doing, mostly what chapters I'm actually editing rather because I'm going to be reading my notes for the beta readers and then over here it's out of the house appointments. I don't have many but the ones I do I want to put over here so I can see them. It's the end of volleyball season so I'm hopefully not going to be out of the house very much this month since I'm going to be incredibly busy <laughs> with writing. These little stickers up here at the top, these are those washi tape stickers that I always show you guys. I just cut them in half and actually put one on either side just for some, you know, pretty. This is week 39, and this is one of those weeks where um, two months fall in the same week, so I just wanted to put October in here, and this is kind of slightly a different color because I messed up. I don't know if you can tell, but this is awesome. I've been using this um, whiteout. So it's an eraser on one side and then whiteout on the other, I think this thing is badass. I love it. Um, and I use that here because I started out with Monday when actually it's only Friday, Saturday, and Sunday at the end of this week. Um, up here I have reading and YouTube. So these are just things I'm gonna be reading and YouTube videos I'm hoping to get done this month. And then over here I have an entire page to take any of this stuff and break it down further. This is a simple <laughs> layout for my dailies and I've already put the first um, week since there's only three days and then my weekly review at the end. This is called the Ivy Lee, I believe, method and I'll talk more about it once I use it and how I feel about it, but I have it set up. Um, you basically put your top six things uh, that you want to get done for the day and then down here is your notes. And that is everything in the first part. In the back part here I have just a section dedicated to um, GTD systems, so like getting things done lists and my collections. And then this is just a piece of vellum to kind of use as a divider between the section and the rest. Um, I'm gonna start my deadlines over here for everything, whether it's videos, books, what have you. And so I have these different calendars. I don't know what they're called, but they, they show you all of the days that are Monday that start in October and then all of the days that are Tuesdays in October all the way down through Sunday. And I think it's interesting. So I thought I would print them out and try them in here. And so I'm gonna work out all my deadlines for October and November and December in here first and pull from these lists and put them on my monthly. But I do have a video I'm gonna be making all about my sticky notes because I am sticky note crazy. These are ones that I've had for a long time. Um, they didn't center exactly properly, so I use them um, whenever I can, just because sometimes your paper gets stuck and goes wonky, but they're not too bad and it's okay. So deep cleaning chores, and I've gone ahead and I've numbered all of the weeks up here. And the N stands for November, so week 44 is in November. And then I just went ahead and put 43 here with an O because this ends in October. So deep cleaning, oh my gosh, winter is almost here. So we have definitely gotten everything done outside, putting things away and covering things up. But this is like deep cleaning on the inside before winter settles in and I get super lazy and don't wanna do anything. <laughs> so right here I have, over here I have the same thing for kitchen because that is a beast all of its own. And then over here I have my monthly chores and then monthly tasks which are slightly different. So this is kind of taking um, a turn from what I usually use which is the Amanda collab with I'm losing it. Paper and Cats, you know how she has a monthly weekly setup. I'm going to be using these instead and then I have plenty of space underneath to write other stuff. Then at the back of this insert, I have the rest of the perfectionism prints. So again, I mentioned there's six of them. The first one was inbox, here's three more. 
use them as I need them, waiting on and someday maybe. And the last insert in here is my writing uh, notebook. And so Project Violet 2 is all set and ready to go. And I just basically make notes and stuff that I wanna write out and work out on paper in here. And I will go into more depth about this and the sticky notes I use in here on my writerly channel when I get the chance to make this video. <laughs> all right, so that is everything for October and for quarter four that I am going to be using and planning on doing. So yeah, I don't know. What are you guys gonna be using? Have you been sticking with uh, what you started out in the beginning? Are you trying to finish strong like I am with these <laughs> Hobonichis? I will tell you this. I'm no longer using this one. Uh, this was mostly being used as a reference notebook. This is my, what is it called? I think it's called uh, Day Free. And I just have not been using it. It just sits there and it makes me kind of sad. The great thing about this is I think it gives you one month before, the whole year, and then three months after. So I can still use this in the new year because it's just a bullet journal. But yeah, sadly it's just been sitting there not being used. It is what it is. Lesson learned. All right, so don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I hope that this was helpful. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.